Hey guys, it's Steve here from Better Gamer Zone, just bringing you a quick video guide for LEGO Lord of the Rings. In this video we're just going to cover off all collectible item locations on the Battle of Pelennor Fields mission. Right at the beginning there, there was a uh, chest that you smash on the right hand side, which is one of three uh, that you need to smash for a mini kit piece. The second is just on the right there, and the third one is just before the end of this riding section. Um, so once you pass the Oliphants here on the right hand side, it'll move round to the left now. Pass these next two. And then you want to aim for the ramp on the right here, which has got the second mini kit. And then the third crate is just on the right there. And that will give you two mini kit pieces in total. All you need to do now is just continue to the end of this section and you'll uh, automatically pick up another mini kit piece, giving you a total of three for the horse riding section. Once you gain control of your characters again on the fight with the Nazgul and his beast, switch over to Sam. Plant the seed on the left hand side here which will give you the green herb which we need for the second part of the fight. So just put that away. Switch up to Legolas and we're just going to shoot the two targets on the top here which will actually cause the orc with the glowing shield to drop down. If you shoot him and kill him we can pick up the uh, glowing shield which is the first of three items. Head down to the bottom left hand side of the screen, once killing uh, a few orcs there, and uh, smash up the blocks on the bottom left hand side of the screen, it'll uh, allow you to put together a board here which you can just jump onto, and one of the other characters will come along and jump onto it as well, and that will uh, allow the horse to stand up, and that will give you the fourth mini kit piece that you can collect. All we need to do now, just carry on with the fight here on the first section so wait for the uh, Nazgul's beast just to bash his head down three times and then we're just going to uh, chop it off. There's not much to, uh, to see in this mission so we're just going to speed things up a little bit to uh, get things out of the way. Once he uh, bashes his head down for the third time here we're just going to chop it off and it'll actually start the fight with the Nazgul all we do, once you've got control of your characters again, head over to the right hand side here. There's a, uh, a patch of soil to dig up with Sam. And then we're just going to put that together. And it's just an orange handle for uh, one of the strong characters. So we're just going to pull that, head over to the right hand side here, dig up the patch of soil. and you'll get the uh, red herb which mixed with the green herb gives you the first aid kit uh, give the first aid kit to the guy that we just released by pulling the orange handle and he will give us a fifth mini kit piece we're just going to head over to the bottom left hand side of the screen here switch up to Gimli jump up and smash down and that will uh, give us the sixth mini kit piece there's nothing else to collect on this particular part, so we're just going to carry on the fight and kill the Nazgul here. So just let him smash his uh, mace down three times, and we'll take him out. And we'll pick up once we've got control of our characters uh, on the Oliphant section. So we're just going to switch up to Sam, head down to the bottom right hand side of the screen, dig up this first item here which is the uh, first part of the crutches that we need to put together so pick up that head down to the bottom of the screen now we're uh, gonna set this fire up here which actually frees up the guy that we need to give the crutches to so head down to the bottom pick up the other parts of the crutches and then just head over and give them to the soldier he'll give you the seventh mini kit piece that we need Head over to the left, plant the uh, seed on the left hand side here and that will actually bring up the second of three items which is the golden carrot. So just pop that into your backpack. There we go. Switch up to the berserker. There's two mithril blocks. One which will give you the blacksmithing plan and the next which will actually free up a 
uh, a watering hole. So switch to Pippin, grab some water, head over and just douse the flames. It takes two lots of water just to douse the flames here. And once you've done that, you'll be able to smash up the boxes here and pick up the eighth mini kit piece. All we need to do now, grab another bucket full of water, head over to the left hand side here, pass the guy in the ground and we're just going to chuck the water onto these flames on the left hand side and uh, what we'll actually do is just smash up this block while we're here. Once we've freed this guy it'll give us the ninth mini kit piece, the tenth was freed up when we uh, doused those flames on the left and the final item was also in the fire which is the flower hat. So that will give you all 10 mini kit pieces, the blacksmithing plans and the three items for this mission. I hope the video helps. Please leave any comments below and subscribe to my channel for future achievement videos. Thanks.